I want to show you how to set up and use cash flow forecasting in Dynamics 365 Business Central. It's really pretty easy to do. There's a couple ways you can do the forecast setup. We'll take a look at an automated way. and We'll go back and look at how you might do it manually if you want to. And then we'll look at how to see the results of the forecast and how you can make use of those in your business. So let's get started. First of all, we're going to create the cash flow setup using assisted setup. So to do that, it's pretty easy. Go to assisted setup here. I've got a number of options. Let's search on cash. This is all you need to do to set this up. Let's go to next. These accounts here are the cash accounts. They've been previously identified in a cash flow chart of accounts. So we'll use that and we want to update the cash flow daily. And also what we want to do is we want to enable Azure AI. We'll take a look at this. The assisted setup will do it automatically for you. We'll go back and take a look at it. So let's go next. This talks about when you pay taxes. It's going to put some numbers in here, select that, and I'm done with this part of it. Let's go to next, and we're done. Let's finish this up. Let's take a look at the results of the assisted setup for cash flow. You can see it automatically picked this up here. This is the information that we entered during the assisted setup. It also automatically set up Azure AI to assist in the forecasting. Now let's take a look at the Azure AI. We'll open that up and we'll go into the Microsoft Machine Learning Studio. This has already been set up. This was set up by the Assisted Setup Routine and this is what it looks like. This is a model in Azure AI. You can change it here. You can get more information if you want to. Most people are just going to accept it. It's already been incorporated into the forecasting scenario in Business Central. So let's go ahead and use it. This is the cash flow card that was set up by the assisted setup. Let's take a look at it. And what we can do here is we can add some additional information if we want to. We can add a budget. If I'm a CFO, I may want to put my budget in here so I can get a long-term look at cash flow. But if I'm an accounting manager and controller worried about day-to-day -day operations, I may not want the budget in there. And I can just use these numbers here. This is based on liquid funds, the cash I have on hand, receivables, payables, sales orders, and purchase orders. It gives me a realistic view of where I am today and what my cash will be in the near future. We can drill down on any of these and get additional information. These are all the transactions that the cash flow forecast used to come up with the numbers that we'll look at next. Another way to look at this information is on this card, go to related, and then look at the cash flow availability by periods. This is handy because I can specify the time periods that I'm interested in. I could look at a daily basis, a weekly basis, a monthly basis. This shows me by week the cash flow sources and uses for all these different items. The receivable sales orders over here. These are sources of cash flow. And I've got payables and purchase orders. These are uses of cash flow. I go all the way over to the right. I've got a running balance right here. This also lets me drill down and find out more information about where these numbers are coming from. I can drill down on that as well. Before we continue, if you like this type of content, the best way to support us and to help others find this content is to subscribe to our channel, activate the notifications, and share your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for helping us grow this channel. Let's get back to the demonstration. But one of the best ways to look at this is on the role center for the accountant. If I scroll down here, I have the cash flow forecast right here. What I like about this particular graph is, first of all, it's a nice graph. There's a lot of information in it, but I also have the ability to access almost anything in the cash flow functionality from this graph. You can see I can do the drop down here. I can change the period length that I'm looking at. I can also recalculate the forecast. I can also add manual revenue or expenses. So for example, if I go into expenses here, I may want to put payrolls in here because payrolls are coming up on a regular basis. It's a hard number. I can enter those and that will affect the reporting on my cash flow. So let's do that. I'll just add that one number. You can add as many as you want to. You can go back and edit them if you want. Once I've done that, I can just recalculate the forecast. I recalculated, it's changed the graph, but let's take a look at some of the specifics on this graph. If I go over here, I can see the composition on my cash flow for this period of time. We're looking at one month. 
You can see where all the cash flow is coming from and where it's going, receivables, payables. You can also see down here at the bottom, Azure AI is also adding some information. We can drill down to any of these buckets within the graph and get more information. So for example, I get a look at my liquid funds here. Let's click on that. It shows me the accounts in which the cash exists today. Let's go back. We can look at the Azure AI here. So the Azure AI is adding some entries in different sections. You can see that payables, purchasing, receivables based on that model that we just looked at. And then on my accountant's role center, I have right next to it another graph on cash flow. That's right over here. These are standard graphs in Business Central. I like the cash flow forecast here because it allows me to drill down and get more information. Plus, it's easier to look at and get timely information on it. If you're not yet using cash flow forecasting in Dynamics 365 Business Central, you should really try it out. It's pretty easy to set up. And I think once you get used to the graphs and the reporting, you'll really like it.